So Team of the Year is gonna be coming out very very soon. It's gonna be coming out in about five days right there as you can see. And in this video, we're gonna pretty much recap everything you need to do before Team of the Year. We're gonna talk about how to prepare and all that. So make sure to like and subscribe subscribe if you are excited for it. So right now we're going to Wildcards and National Whaler Simmons. The main thing that you need to do is go ahead and still play Winter Wildcards event, obviously, just because you're gonna get Winter Wildcard tokens. And those Winter Wildcard tokens are gonna be used uh, for uh, are gonna be used to get team of the air tokens or team of the air energy uh, as it's gonna be called so make sure you get as many of these and uh, winter wildcard tokens and don't spend any of them this is the main thing that you need to do to get as many uh, team of the air tokens as possible at the start of the event as well as obviously don't spend any of your pass points right now and make sure you save your pass points for team of the air as well and when team of the air comes out make sure you go ahead and exchange those pass points into team of the air energy as well but you're not going to be able to exchange national whaler points into team of the air energy so you need to go ahead and spend as many national whaler points as possible you need to spend every single one of your national whaler points because they're not going to be useful for team of the year that's the main thing that you need to do also um i would definitely suggest you to go ahead and get as many coins as possible obviously if you have already sold your team then that's obviously good if you haven't sold your team i feel like it's just too late right now all the cards have dropped in price quite a lot as you can see right there luis diaz is 7.6 million 7.7 million coins in my market right there so he has dropped a lot i should have sold him at like 20 million he was still available at that but I didn't know Winnie Jr. was coming out, right? The fact that Winnie Jr. came out, the free Winnie Jr. card, that's the reason Luis Diaz came down the low in price. But that's all right for me. That's all right because I've still sold a lot of my players and I've still got over 260 million coins right there, as you can see. So yeah, if you have sold your team, that, that, that's good. If you, if you haven't, you've lost a lot of coins. What else can I say? And now do not buy any players before team of the year as well. Don't buy any players. Don't spend any of your coins. You might think the players are going down um, in price. They are way, very low right now. And uh, it's it's time to go on and buy the players. But no, wait until team of the year. Wait until team of the year and you can go ahead and buy the players after that. Don't buy any of the players right now. Uh, none, none at all. Just save as many coins as possible. You're gonna need them for the exchanges, for the event and all that. Uh, make sure you get as many coins as possible. And when we get the team of the year event, you might be able to get some of the team of the year players as well from the market with those coins. Also, obviously make sure you get as many gems as possible and don't spend any of uh, any of the gems in, on, in any of these packs right there. In any, uh, Don't spend them in winter wildcard uh, points or packs, sorry, or in national whalers or any of these. Do not spend your gems. And you can go ahead and get quite a few gems for you to play, of course. From Daily Quest, you can get 40 right there by watching it. You can get uh, 360 from these daily rewards, as well as you can get even more. And you can get even more gems, of course, from National Whaler Quest right there. If you didn't complete any of these or some of these, you can go ahead and get 500 uh, gems right there if you complete every single one of them. And you can obviously get um, you can obviously get a lot more rewards right there as well. I need to go ahead and rank up a player twice, actually, to get the last bit of rewards, uh, rewards right there but i'm gonna do it later on as well as that we can go ahead and get some more gems from winter wildcard daily quest of course right there as you can see you can go ahead and get a 150 right there as well as we can get more from weekly quest and more from this one uh, as well as this uh, kit right there and you can go ahead and get a lot of a lot of gems if you complete um this chapter in obviously uh, national, uh winter wildcard uh, section sorry in winter wildcard chapter you need to go ahead and complete weekly training for every single one of these chapters if you go uh, into home page you can see we've got shooting pace passing dribbling and defending you're not only gonna get those players and some of the rewards in that one as well as well as you're gonna get this winter sweater kit which will help you a lot to complete this uh, this quest right there and you will be able to get a lot more gems you're gonna be able to get uh, uh, 2,000, uh, 1,500, and 1,000, yeah, 2,500 free gems right there as well. So make sure you complete all those uh, weekly trainings and get as many gems as possible by completing quests afterwards. Also with that, don't spend any of your uh, players in any of these exchanges. Of course, save as many players as you can. Um, and yeah, don't, don't do any of these exchanges because they are untradeable cards anyways. You're gonna be able to get only untradeable cards from these exchanges anyways. And just don't, don't put any of your players just before team of the year into those exchanges. Don't waste any of them. You're gonna need as many players as possible. Obviously, team of the year is gonna be a big event. We're gonna get so many exchanges, so many 
uh, ways to get some of those team of the year players not only we're going to get main team of the year players but also team of the year nominees team of the year honorable mentions ultimate team of the year after that and make sure you go ahead and do every single one of these things of course i know we've got the new national whaler uh exchanges right now as well if you actually go out and click team b we've got this one right there as you can see we got 91 overall dia 89 to 94 overall player pack as well as 91 overall mascherano and 5 million coins and if you want to you can i guess go out and complete these exchanges would i really suggest you to do that probably no it's probably better for you not to do them but if you want to you can obviously do them i'm actually gonna do them for the video for for the next video i think i might go ahead and complete some of these exchanges rather or all of these exchanges just cause why the hell not right i'm gonna do it for the uh for for the content and i'm gonna see if they're if it's gonna be worth it or not and i'm gonna open probably this 89 to 94 raw player pack or maybe just claim a free master on in 5 million coins i'm not 100 sure i'm not really 100 sure but what i'm gonna do now to end this video and i'm gonna go ahead and open some of these packs actually i don't i don't have enough of these points national points and i don't really want to spend coins right i'm at least gonna get um 20 national points right now national wheeler points we're gonna get policy our money and other cards and we're gonna open one pack if i get something good i'm gonna open second pack with coins is that is that what we're gonna do it is what we're gonna do um actually spending points on these packs is probably not the best idea if i want to complete these exchanges right you have if i want to complete these exchanges i do need quite a few national points as well but i guess we'll, we're gonna figure that one out as well we will figure that one out i need 200 and i need how many more 200 for that uh 280 for that do we need any more i think that's enough right 280 i think is enough yeah i don't need any more so 280 i'm gonna be able to get 280 in the next couple of days at least right now we've got the challenge mode as well i haven't really completed it yet but I'm gonna complete it and I'm gonna show you my rewards, of course. Right, then it's almost the end of the match right there, as you can see. So I'm gonna go on and open my challenge mode rewards. Let me know down in the comment section if you packed anybody great from your challenge mode rewards today. I haven't packed anyone good. I think I've packed only one 91 overall card from all the challenge mode packs that I've opened. Other than that, all the other ones were like 88 or 89. So yeah, that 91 overall as well was like Hoffman, who is not really selling. Is like four million is not really selling so i'm expecting to get something incredible in this pack Messi is the mbappe is the ronaldo's neymar's and stuff like that holland i'll take any 93 plus i think we'll see what i'm gonna get though am i gonna get lucky probably not but i guess it's worth a try we're gonna go and open that pack then it's gonna be a icon it's probably not gonna be a high overall icon though it's gonna be norwegian striker what that's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, right? It's a hero. 86 overall Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Solskjaer. So, so that means we're going to get an 88 plus overall in this pack as well. This is not the main player. This is not the highest overall per player that we're going to pack. If you get another Norwegian striker with Haaland, I'll 100% take that. Are we going to get anybody good? Nope. That's such a bad pack. You probably cannot see a worse pack than that, right? Look at that. That's Pabon that I've just packed right there. Mitoma, Sokjar, as well as Lopez and Johnny Evans. Yeah, this pack, this pack sucks. This pack definitely sucks right there. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video for today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And peace.